Hello, I'm Al Stash with Hill Park Cable Commission. We're here at 419 South Monterey, back again because this building has been used by the fire department over the last several months to do some training. And we're starting to get geared up to do some roof work, some inside work, some ladder work, and do the things that you would normally see a fire department do when there's a fire in a structure like this. Now this building at 419 has been condemned for uh, new sewer management within the neighborhood here, so this will become a retention area along with other properties on this uh, street. But for now, we're here to see how the fire department reacts to a situation in a residence here in Villa Park. Well, <laughs> just give me an F right now. And then I have nowhere to go but up. You're doing fine. Do do? So. Okay, that we're gonna put on. That's one of the last things we put on. Okay. Just now, if it's too heavy, just say something. Okay. We'll take it off. If I fall backwards, that would be an indication. That would be an indication, right. <laughs> Once we put these on, this will kind of support it, so it's not... This isn't going to end up on YouTube or anything, is it? Not as far as you know. <laughs> not, not today. Not today. <laughs> There's only one guy with a camera, oh, that's Al, yeah, so... Okay. Yeah. And Kevin's got my card, so you can find You're good? Is there... It, uh, it should be kind of rusting on your hips a little bit. Well, I, got, I got good hips for that. Okay, all right. Good? Yeah. All right, good. All right. All right. Wait, do we have a hood for it? She's got a hood on. Okay. You got it on? Yeah. So, what we would usually do is we wouldn't put this on until we're right at the door. We pull the hose off, charge the hose, the officer walks around the whole structure to try and determine where the fire's at. And he could do that, like Bud said, by the color of the smoke in the windows, look for the most amount of smoke coming out of the smallest opening. So, once he determines that, charge the line, and then we pack up at the door and then make entry. Um, so, what we'll do is, uh, We'll do it like we were gonna, like it was an incident. So we'd put your helmet on, and we're gonna go ahead and pull the, the line off, okay. and then we'll pack up at the door. Okay. So I'm gonna give you, you put your helmet on. So this goes over that the just, helmet? That just hangs gotcha. right there for Not now. Yet. But, yet. But, okay. We're gonna have you pull the fire, we're gonna have you pull the hose off. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm gonna put your gloves in your pocket here. All right. Oh, I should have had my nails done. <laughs> I, I just, I would love to hear the conversations of you guys after this is over. Well, here, I'm gonna, yeah. You got a shield on your helmet, it's at number 10, that means you're your 10. So you're gonna do it. All right, I'll take that, okay. <laughs> so you're not a politician. This, guy, this guy's good. Yeah. <laughs> Years of practice. <laughs> You would also usually be bringing a tool with you. The officer brings what's called a halligan bar, and then one of the firefighters brings either a maul or a flathead axe. Okay. And these are uh, forcible entry tools. So if we get to the door, there's a chance that that door is locked. So we have to get in as well. So you want a maul, James? Uh, sure. What we have here is these are uh, two pre-connect attack lines. They're inch and three-quarter lines, 200 foot long each. They flow about 200 gallons a minute. Okay. Now you see the guy who's pulling the hose kind of has sort of a, it, it's kind of an easier job. Jamie's job, you see all this stuff hanging off him right now? Uh -huh. He's also going to have that camera hanging off him. He's going to have that and that in his hands. Plus, so he's going to set that down, he's going to come back and help you and then you got to flake out the hose. Because if the hose isn't flaked out right, it's got a lot of kinks, you don't get any water out of no. the end of it. So. No. All right, Jamie. All right. Okay, so first thing we take off is the nozzle, and this is going to go on your on your shoulder. Okay. Come on over here. What's that? Um, she's probably going to have to take them off anyways when she packs up. Part, there's no water oh in here. Oh my god. Am I going up those stairs? What am I doing here? You can you can stop right there. Okay. And I'm gonna take this part from you. Alright. Now they're they're clearing the rest of the hose off of the bed. Okay. 
Okay. You have to make sure that's done before you charge water or else it all gets crimped up in there. Okay. So now you would set this down on the ground. I'm just going to flake this, this out a little bit. I hold on to this though? Yep. You hold on to that because if you let go of that, another firefighter is going to come and grab it from you. <laughs> okay. And then go and take it in. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> No, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to set that down or something. Put all, put all your stuff oh, yeah. on. I like when you just... Okay. I don't want seven guys coming in. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. But this stuff used to be a lot better. This is all from France. Now it's pyro light, which is a lot lighter. The hose is a lot lighter. And here's the rope. Mm -hmm. You go up the stairs, Kim? Not yet. Well, we're gonna put water in here. This is all heavy. Get the water. We're gonna pull some water. Oh, boy. Yeah. So now you turn around and go to Frank and you go like this. Gonna put water in the hose. Make sure it doesn't so hold on to this one. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that you're He's being very gentle. You don't want to have that power with a black eye. Now we're throwing this hose of water. You know, go back against the wall over there. Okay. So before we go in, you have to make sure this air is out. If you don't want to go in, lift it up this nozzle and flash the power over there. So you can do it just kneel down. Maybe okay. just pull this back real slow. I'm gonna bleed the air out. Put it on a straight screen like that. Maybe go ahead and close it. The air is out. Right. Now set down the nozzle. And the fireman will come up and try and take it from you. <laughs> so you can always go like this. Okay. So take off your helmet. There's pads on the bottom here. This is going to be a little big on you, I think, but we'll see if we can work through it. Okay? Now pull your hood up. Just pass a flash over hood. So catch all your, your, keep your hair and your ears from catching on fire. Okay. Okay. Now your helmet. Other way. Okay, you good? I'm good. Now, you're going to turn on your air pack? Now take this off, squeeze these two buttons right here, and pull it off. Put it right on here. Now take a breath. You going? Yeah. Take a, take a real strong deep breath. There you go. Now it's activated. She doesn't have a good seal. The bite? Oh, okay. Okay, one. Uh-oh, door's locked. Here's your first obstacle. 
There you go, that was easy enough. Down. Okay, if we have fire in here, come across the ceiling, you see how it came across the ceiling before? You open up the nozzle and you get in a circular motion and you cool it down. So go ahead and do that. Open up the nozzle right here, clear it down before we go in. And then have to close the door. The whole thing down the nozzle. All right, let's make our way to the bedroom. Stand up. No, the mask doesn't seal good around your face. We need a, a smaller mask. Oh, gotcha. So the air was blown by. Oh, that's why. Uh huh. So it's like because your your bottle is empty now. Gotcha. It was like frostbite on my face. You okay? <laughs> All right. Oh my let's, God. let's come outside. We'll take a break. Unbelievable. Wait, I think I lost a glove. <laughs> Nice job. Now you heard the glass break and stuff, right? Yeah, I did. That was cool. Okay. Well, <laughs> as you were going in, what you hear is you hear a lot of it breaking. Because guys be taking the windows out to okay. try to remove some of the smoke and heat. So they'd be doing that. Okay. And, uh, I'm good. You know, I was getting like frostbite on my face. What, because because of it was air. leaking. Yeah, it was leaking so fine. fast. Well, because I kept thinking you guys couldn't feel this because there's no way you could. No, I got a fat face. It's no. so <laughs> But here's the thing, as you were sitting there getting ready, you're taking your time. Like I told you earlier, our gear with our pack and on here in a minute or less. So the guys come here, usually they don't have a lot of, they don't have their air on. And what will happen is, we have an extra guy, or you get some other people pulling up. You guys will get ready. This door probably would be locked if it was. Jamie took it out. It may take a lot more work. But then as you're going in, you're also feeling around you in case you feel a foot or a hand or a person or something like that. You know, and you keep doing it. And then sometimes you don't know where the fire is. You just got to go in there and like listen for crackles here. Or you can't feel heat. If this was a real fire, once we open that door, especially if we got to the room of origin, you're not going to be able to see your hand in front of your face. No. Right. So one thing you do have to do is cool that because we talked about the fuels that are, are, are in the room, the contents, the plastics. All that smoke up there is actually superheated gas and can ignite at any time. So you have to cool that, and that's what we did at first. We cooled that down and bought us some time, and then we had to go in and search for the fire itself. Which isn't as easy as it would sound, you know, because it's so black with all the smoke that you can't always see the fire. So that's one part of it, and this is done in conjunction with putting a hole in the roof, because we've got to let all that smoke out. So once you're ready to take a break or a breather, we're going to... This crew is going to take, we're going to take a ladder off and we're going to go and ventilate the roof. Okay. Want to come with? Sure. <laughs> All right. It was great, except you usually just drink it right out of the hose. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just see that one. Oh, yeah. You guys would love to see me try that. <laughs> it was, 
unbelievable. I don't, I don't know how you guys do that. You ready for round two? We got another, we got something else planned for you. All right, cool, All right. cool. We'll get some water and then I didn't we'll. Give you full pressure either, so. No, I figured that. <laughs> I was nervous pulling it. This is keeper on the ground. But it was cool breaking yeah, yeah. windows. I like that. That was kind of fun. I'm like, oh, can I get those? <laughs>